What's up, race fans? My name is Owen, and welcome back to the Bent Fender Podcast. And in this one, I will be doing the Bristol Dirt Reaction. So... Alright, so, before the race... Um... Both William Byron and Alex Bowman got a L1 penalty after last week when NASCAR brought their two cars in for an inspection, like a full teardown inspection. They found something that wasn't right, um, so they got fined, uh... Six, 60 driver and owner points, five playoff points. Both were fined seven seventy five thousand dollars and both their crew chiefs have been suspended for two weeks. Now, I don't know if that's like the interim crew chiefs or their crew chiefs are getting two more weeks added on to their suspension or or what. But... That was the only penalty th this week. Uh, and for the Bristol, for this race, um, the only time you could change tires was at the stage break. And um, one driver substitution, and that was Matt Crafton in for Cody Ware. Uh, Cody Ware had a, a family thing, or he had something going on, so... Yeah, so getting to the race, uh, stage one was 75 laps. Uh, Kyle Larson and Austin Dillon were on the front row. Uh, Larson leads. Then a little while into the stint, Bubba Wallace spins, collecting Joey Logano, who ended up hitting the pit road water barrels that protect the cars from the end of the pit wall. Like the out of the outside pit wall. Um, also, Byron and Gilliland got were also involved. That brings out the first of many cautions in this race. Uh, then Joey Logano got a speeding penalty on pit road. Um, after that, Matt Crafton spins, bringing out the second caution. Then Brad Kozlowski sprint, spins, bringing out the third. Um, then we went green flag racing basically for the rest of the stage until the final lap where Denny Hamlin and, uh, Josh, Josh Berry, uh, get turned around, bringing out the fourth caution, which that ended stage one and Kyle Larson wins stage one. So at the end of the stage, there were only three cars a lap down going into the Second stage, um, Josh Berry got a penalty for um, his team was still working on the car when the clock, the time clock expired, so he got a penalty for that. I I don't know. Um, Tyler Reddick uh, leads after he stayed out. Uh, tires were not an issue in this race. Um, like, at the first stage break, uh, they showed, like, a couple teams' tires, and other than the dirt on the tires, they looked almost brand new. Like, there was a bit of wear on one edge. Not, like, the edge of the tire, but, like, on one of the, on something, on some part of the tire, but, like, people could have, this race could have been done on one set of tires. Like, you weren't losing anything, so, all you needed was, like, gas just to get to the finish, honestly. Um, so, after the restart, um, uh, what's his name? 
All right. So after that, um, Jonathan Davenport spins. Um, he is a uh, like dirt track specialist that raced here. So then um, on the next restart, Michael McDowell does a three sixty spin. And gets it going immediately, but they throw out the caution immediately, which sucked, because, like, the only one who made, like, a, a real elusive maneuver was Ty Gibbs, and nope, and, like, everyone was like, wow, <laughs> what a move, what a save there, um, then after after this one, uh, NASCAR started to put the yellow flag away for like spins. So that there there were a lot of spins later on. So I will tell you about them. Um, so after that, Daniel Suarez spins. Then um, Joey Logano hits the wall and is smoking. Uh, he eventually is out of the race. He did not have a good day. He he just got unlucky. Um, then after that... Uh, Michael McDowell does another 360 spin. No caution. Then Ty Gibbs bounces off the wall. Keeps going. And then Ryan Priest spins... Which brings out the seventh caution. Um, then after that, uh, Bubba Wallace and Noah Gregson both bounce off the wall. Then Brad Brad Kozlowski spins, bringing out the eighth caution. Um, after that, Eric Jones does a, goes around and does a 360 spin. Then, uh, after that, the first, uh, pass for the lead in this race, uh, where Kyle Busch takes the lead, then Tyler Reddick, uh, retakes the lead. And at the end of stage two, Tyler Reddick. Is the winner. So Reddick wins stage two. So at the end of stage two. There was one car out of the race. And four cars laps down. So the third and final stage. Was a hundred laps. Um, Christopher Bell stayed out. As well as like. Eight others. So Bell leads. Then Kyle Larson spins. Bringing out the ninth caution. Uh, after that, Denny Hamlin spins. A little bit after that, um, uh, Ryan Priest gets into Kyle Larson, who, who wrecks, and that brings out the 10th caution. Uh, Kyle Larson is out of the race. He had a lot of damage <laughs> after that. All right. Then after that, Ross Chastain uh, goes around. Then um, Josh Davenport uh, is out of the race. They didn't really say anything about it. It was just like, oh, he's out of the race. Okay, who cares? He was having a decent race though. He was at, he was in like the top twenty mo most of the day. So uh, then after that, Noah Gregson spins, bring out the eleventh caution. Then uh, after that, JJ Ailey goes around. Then Corey LaJoy goes around. Then Kyle Busch spins, bringing out the twelfth caution. After that, Matt Crafton is out of the race. I I don't really know what happened to him, but 
that sucks. After that, um, Daniel Suarez and Josh Berry spin and collect Ross Chastain. This is uh, on the last lap, so the, the 13th caution came out, which that ended the race. And Christopher Bell wins the dirt race at Bristol. So the top five was um, Bell, Reddick, Austin Dillon, Ricky Stenhouse, and uh, Briscoe. Those were your top five. And all in all, this was a good race. This was a really entertaining race. I would love to see more dirt track racing in the, the Cup Series, definitely. Um, one thing I would say is NASCAR, stop going to full commercials while we're green flag racing. Just stop it. Go to the split screen. Because, like, most of the time when you go to full screen, like, commercials, there's a, there's a crash. So please, no more full core, no more full commercials while we're green flag racing. On pit stops, that's fine, but like on cautions, that's fine, but not on green flag racing. All in all, in all I'm probably going to give this race nine out of ten. It was an amazing race. Um, so, uh, I will end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, as well as go check out my other two channels, one being my main channel of FanRantan, where I do Pokemon videos, Lego, Lego builds, and gaming content, as well as go check out my other channel where me and my friends play Dungeons and Dragons, that is called Drunkards and Dumbasses. You can also find us under the Boundless Shores for that. And uh, join me next week when I review the Martinsville race. Thank you all for watching, and peace.